And uh, welcome back. Omar in Herndon, Virginia, watching Free Speech TV. Hey, Omar. Omar, what's on your mind today? Tom, thank you so much. I wanted to call about um, uh, California prisoners being used to battle the wildfire. And I, I think it's a little bit disturbing that in the United States we do that. And, I mean, they pay, they're getting paid $2 a day, not an hour. And they're getting a day off every day they work taking off their prison sentence. You know, mm -hmm. I think a day sh should have been equal to a month or a year. And even if they are in good behavior, they still cannot, um, if they get out, they cannot be a fireman or anything because they have a felony. Right. And I, I just don't think that's something we do. This is what they do in China or, 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 or Burma or somewhere, you know. You know, if they're there to, to serve a sentence, that should be their uh, time to serve a sentence. Yeah, or is it entirely voluntary, training. Omar? I'm sorry? Is it entirely voluntary? Yeah, I mean, it's entirely voluntary, but I just yeah. think the compensation is not, it's not equal. Some of these firemen maybe make 120 a year, and, right. and, and the, these prisoners are pretty much almost doing the same job as the, these firemen. Well, they're not so quite doing the same job. They're not, you know, I guess on occasion they may end up going into somebody's house or dealing with a neighborhood, but mostly they're out, you know, they're, they're dealing with the forest. But, but I understand what you're saying, Omar, and I don't disagree with the sentiment that if we're going to have people doing work, it should be, you know, it should be fairly compensated on the one hand. On the other hand, um, you know, if I was in prison and I had an opportunity even at no pay to go out and, and fight a fire, I mean, you know, a nice break from the boredom and from the, from the awful conditions in the prison. But, sure. but I think that the solution to the boredom and the awful conditions in the prison is for us to adopt a penal system like Norway's, where we actually yeah. rehabilitate prisoners rather than simply punish them, which takes us back to your argument that this is not something that's appropriate for prison labor, and I agree with that. Um, I, yeah, I, 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 you know, we need prison reform from the bottom to the top. I mean, just a thorough change in prison stuff. Absolutely. And, and the last thing I wanted to talk to you, if you can just help me understand what this tax bill um, I'm hearing that it's going to hurt blue state more than the red state. Can, can you just uh, explain that a little bit? Because sure. I only understand things when you explain them. Yeah, there's there's something called the uh, the salt tax, or state and local tax, S A L T, state and local tax, and and so right now, if um, if say you earned, you know, fifty thousand bucks a year, and uh, you paid. Uh, $2,000 a year in state taxes, and you paid $3,000 a year in property tax on the house that you live in, that's a $5,000 deduction off your income. So um, normally those state and local taxes, the property tax and the state income tax, uh, would be deducted from the $50,000 a year you earn, so your taxable income would only be $45,000 a year if you had $5,000 in state and local taxes. And so then you pay an income tax based on that 45000 a year, and the 5000 that you earned is tax-free. And um, what the Republicans are doing is they're saying that you can no longer deduct state and local taxes over $10,000 a year. Now, you know, uh, people who have big, expensive houses may pay property taxes over 10000 a year. Um, that would typically be, you know, in a high property tax state in a house that's worth probably more than, you know, a half a million or even a million dollars a year. But the state income taxes can be very substantial. So what happens is in high tax states like New Jersey, California, New York State, uh, you, you lose the ability to take that exemption. And that's how it hurts people who live in those states. Out, outside of the billionaires, of course, who, you know, they've structured their estates, so that's not an issue. Omar, thanks for the call.